Well, good Sunday morning. Most of us are waking up to cooler temperatures, but at least we have a clear sky. Now, something I want to show you in history. So Oymyakon, it's a town in Russia, and it just so happens to be one of the coolest towns in the entire world. And I mean by temperatures. So apparently on this day, according to the National Weather Service, on this day, February 6th, in 1933, it was the coolest that they've been sitting at negative 90 degrees. So I will not complain about some of the temperatures that we're seeing out there today. And apparently Oymyakon, it actually means unfrozen water. They have a thermal spring nearby, so that's why it's called unfrozen water. Just a little fun fact for you to start your morning off. Well, our temperatures, we're seeing Sparta coming in a little warmer into the 20s. Carbondale seeing teens along with Mount Vernon and Perryville. So it's just an idea of what we're seeing around the region right now. In fact, looking at our temperature maps, Mount Vernon coming in, like I said, at 13. Marion a little warmer there at 22. Portageville, Union City, a little warmer the further south that you go. But of course, Sparta is also seeing 20. So it's just a good mix seeing the teens to the 20s. Now we are going to rise as we go through our afternoon and into for our morning and afternoon. We're going to see those clouds start to come in around later into the afternoon, going into the evening hours ahead of a cold front. But temperatures are expected to at least reach. I think you have a good chance of reaching 40 if you are further to the south. Looking at our threat tracker, I've only bumped it up a little bit because of our morning temperatures. Again, they're still cool, but it's February. We're going to look at a mild afternoon. Monday, the clouds return and they're going to stay around a little bit for our Tuesday, but we are expecting one of the warmest days of your work week that's in sight. So what we're dealing with, we have no clouds to talk about really until later this evening ahead of a cold front. That's around 10, moves through around midnight tonight. And then after that front's moved through, we're not going to see too bad of those temperatures. Those temperatures should be at least into the 20s when you wake up. Again, a few clouds when you're uh, into your Monday afternoon, those will stick around into your Tuesday. Now, this is an update. It is possible that you could see some snow behind this. It's hit or miss at this point. We're still not sure. And if we get anything, it's just going to be a flurry. So stop wishing for it, snow lovers. I don't want it anymore. Well, after those clouds pass, look at that. Another cold front, another weak cold front with, again, more clouds. So it's just going to be a cloudy but warm uh, work week. So if you are heading out, just prepare for those clouds. And if you want to track the clouds, the warmer temperatures, and maybe even the roller coaster that we could be expecting, hint, hint, you can download our Storm Track 3 app on Google Play or the Apple App Store. But overall, today it's going to be a beautiful day. We are warming up to near 40s, and I think areas to the south could be actually seeing those 40s. Tonight, if you are going out, temperatures are not going to drop too much. We are going to have those clouds building into the evening. We're going to expect to temperatures to still be below freezing. But by we wake up tomorrow around 7, we're seeing 20s. So again, not too bad for our average time this year. And we are going to notice those clouds start to peep in there around later afternoon. But again, almost copy and paste day, temperatures in the 40s. Looking ahead, though, we also notice as our cloud chances increase, so do our temperatures. Now, I'm not going to complain about that. So far, we're staying dry, and that's what I like to hear. That Wednesday, though, 51 degrees, sounds like a very prime day to get out that it day. If the snow does. melts. It, it, it could, yeah.